Hey guys, I'm in Venice right now and I wanted to do a video on my top three tips for filming a travel vlog. I'm filming this on my iPhone because I always have it with me so it's easy to travel with. And then I also bring my Rode Record microphone because it picks up great quality audio and it's also easy to travel with. I also have my Canon ALF 330HS and my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. So we are in Venice. And don't forget your selfie stick, especially when your stability is questionable, like on a boat. It makes it much easier to film yourself and to keep your camera stable. And the three extra pieces of gear to have are a mini tripod for sure to keep those shots stable and you don't have to hold it like a selfie stick, your backup uh, chargers for your camera so you don't miss any important shots, and then of course bring an external hard drive because you want to be able to back up all your footage and keep lots of memory for all of the footage you're going to get on your travels. And as far as lighting goes, just make sure that sun's always in front of you and not behind you so you get this weird shadow on your face. Now we're going to head to Paris for tip number two. Here I am at the Eiffel Tower, and this is an obvious location to shoot at when you're in Paris. So before you even leave for your trip, you wanna make sure that you have a shot list of the locations you definitely wanna capture for the end result of your video. Also, to make things efficient and your timing organized, you wanna plan out where each of your locations is and map them out so you can bulk schedule uh, each of your shoots into specific days. This also helps with the editing process because you'll know which clips were shot when and you're already thinking of the end result of your video as you're shooting it. So I keep my shot list on my phone in my notes or I just keep it on a piece of paper and write a little makeshift script and this way you can cross things off as you go. This gives you a solid base for your video but you also to make sure that you're rolling at random to catch those spontaneous unexpected moments because generally that makes for the best footage. What's happening? <laughs> the wind! Now we're going to head to London for our third and final tip. So I figured outside of Buckingham Palace would be a great place to tell you about tip number three, which is to plan your B-roll. What's B-roll? Let me explain. B-roll is what you're seeing right now. It's extra footage that helps you transition your video clips together and gives the audience a well-rounded idea of where you are, what you're seeing, and it helps them feel like they're in whatever location you're shooting in. For example, right now, I'm at Buckingham Palace, and this is all of the sights and sounds that I'm seeing in and around the area. You can add voiceovers to your B-roll, like I'm doing now, to add further context. It's a lot more interesting than just having me on camera and other elements that you want to make sure you include in your travel vlogs are interviews with locals to get their perspective, photos to add more B-roll, and some of the recognizable sounds from that location. The whole point of a travel vlog is to bring your audience with you and let them experience what you're experiencing. So see as many of the sights and sounds as you can and have fun. I put links below to all of the equipment that I've mentioned. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe because I post new video marketing and social media tutorials every single Tuesday. See you next time. I'm off to explore.